fishing a new beach for the first time. Let's do this. So you're looking for those little spots that you think might hold a fish, putting in five or six casts, and moving on to the next one. Looking for the fish. And it's really fun. It's really kind of the fun of surf fishing uh, sandy beaches for me, is all the walking, all the searching, all the reading the water and trying here and trying there. And I gotta say, I wasn't a big fan of this when I moved to San Luis Obispo a year and a half ago, but it's really grown on me. I've learned to love it. I love fishing these sandy beaches with jerk baits and perch grubs and catching big perch and striped bass. And when you see that side current where water's dumping from shallow into deeper water, I like to fish that current. I like to find the edge of where that current drops into deeper water. And then uh, usually right around a cut or a rip current and then fish the edge of that right on the side of it, right on the corner where you see the waves breaking on the corner. So the thing about this guys is just because you see a nice piece of structure doesn't mean that there's fish holding in there. It just means that there's a potential for fish holding in there. So you gotta throw your bait in there five or six times. Guys, there are some fish in here. One just picked up my jerk bait on my second cast into this hole. And it feels like it's either side hooked or a striped bass because it feels heavy and it's not shaking its head a whole lot. Or maybe it picked up some seaweed along the way. Let's go ahead and back this fish out. Come on, come on, stay on, stay on. He feels really heavy. So that's, I'm feeling like that's a striker. Wait, what is that? He's right there in the wash. Just trying to, he's right there. What is that? That's a jack smelt. That is a big old jack smelt. I kind of have no interest in a jack smelt. Should I cook it and eat it? Maybe I should. It's a humble sort of wild food foragers experience to take the, uh, the less desirable stuff and make the most of it. This fish grabbed on. Feels good. Really pumping its head really nicely. I feel like either a big perch or a striper. What was that? Is it wrapped in seaweed? What the heck am I reeling in right now? Right there at the end. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh yeah, a little striper. Ah, a little baby striper. All right guys, I finally feel like I succeeded in catching a decent fish today. It's quite a mission. Look at that big fat belly. I'm so curious what that fish is eating. But he's undersized, so we're gonna have to let him go. Unfortunately. All right, guys, let's get a nice release on this striper. Holding it vertically so I'm not stressing its jaw. Back in the water here. Kind of revive it a little. He'll be just fine. He doesn't really need my help. I'm gonna let him go. Oh boy, seaweed! I caught seaweed! Story of today. It's just weed, 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 weed. I would like to come next time I come back out here. Next time, anytime I go fishing on a sandy beach, I'm gonna bring one jerk bait that has single hooks. Maybe even just one single hook on the tail. But uh, just two single inline hooks. So it'll be more weedless. This is just like such a waste of time. I'm just hoping I can manage to hook a fish before I pick up some seaweed on one of these casts. I can feel it vibrate right there, that's good. Keep it going, keep it in the strike zone. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're vibrating. Actually getting a decent retrieve. Wow, wow, it's vibrating. It's not all fouled up. Okay, fouled. Fouled. That was the best cast I've had in a while. Like, like a weedless three inch swim bait. Something like that, with like Carolina rig it. Weedless, and then I, I think that would work. I would use a bullet weight to the Carolina rig and then weedless three inch swim bait and I wouldn't be dealing with all this weed Maybe I wouldn't be having any problem with it at least my bait wouldn't and I could catch fish instead of all this seaweed damn it this is what I want to tell you 
I fished a lot of good looking water today. In fact, right in front of me is one of the best looking spots I've seen all day. It's a massive hole. There's nice big waves crashing to the left. Within casting range, I can cast over them. And um, yet, I haven't been catching very, very many fish. I lost a few on the way in. I only landed that one striper and a couple jack smokes today. Mostly due to dirty water. But the point is that just because you see good structure doesn't mean that there's going to be fish there. You've got to put your bait in there, five, ten casts. If no bites, then nobody's home. Move on. All right, guys, I must have fished for at least four hours. Which I wouldn't be surprised if it was five hours, so. We fished damn near to the end of this sand spit. And all the way back. So, I mean, we're talking a lot of hours out here on the beach. Grinding, grinding. And I didn't catch a single perch. Not one single perch, not one single keeper, just two smelt and a striper. Piss me off, man. I have no interest in catching undersized stripers, or stripers at all for that matter. 